Hi and welcome. My name is Eric and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about profiling, combining and splitting data. As you know, SSS is all about collecting data from different sources. So if you want to merge the collected data from different sources or you want to do some kind of uh, a lookup or combining um, data sources, you may use one of these tools. And also if you want to maybe split the data to uh, different destination, you can use uh, conditional split and multicast. And when I say source or destination, it can be anything like uh, ADA.net source like relational database so it could be like a SQL database could be a flat file like excel maybe csv file or a text file so in this tutorial i'll be discussing um, uh, these items which we have union all merge merge join lookup condition split multicast and converting data Without wasting much time, let's go ahead and um, see how these work. So this is Visual Studio. Again, if you don't know what SSS2 is, previous, please watch my previous videos. Um, and uh, if you don't know how to install SSS, again, <coughs> Go ahead and uh, watch uh, my uh, previous videos on how to install SSS. And again, if you don't know how to create a project, you may need to go back and watch uh, my very first pro uh, uh, video, uh, which I went through uh, the process of creating a new project and all that. So I'll just go really quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new project. So to open a new project, you go to file new project. And uh, I will choose integration services. I'm going really fast. That's why I said you have to go back and uh, watch uh, my step by step video on our creator project. And here I'm going to give a name, uh, which is going to be um, I'll just give a name like uh, combining and splitting data. So this would be combine, combining and splitting data and then I'll change the location here real quick and um, I'll go ahead and um, a new project so depending on how fast your computer is it will create a new project and now I do have my IDE um, this is my package name it's over here I'll go ahead and rename this to the first one uh, which will be union Again, if you don't know how to do that, please watch my previous videos. So I'll go ahead and I'll uh, drag and drop a sequence container. I'll go ahead and add union all. So sorry, I'll add a um, data flow task. And you can go ahead and give it a, a name. I'm not going to give it any name for now. Oh, I just say. 
uh, I'll give a name, right click on a name and I'll say combine multiple sources double click on it go inside data flow and in here uh, what we are going to do is we're going to combine data to from multiple sources okay so um, first of all let's go ahead and see the definition of unit all let's understand this and then I'll show you where uh, we'll be getting data from I did purposely that I didn't write any definition on my PowerPoint so that I can show you guys how to get that information so if you click on it the information of the definition will be given somewhere here and uh, for union all it combines rows from multiple data sources without sorting and you're gonna see if you uh, sorting is important for example add rows back to a data flow after correction of errors if sorting is important we recommend using merge and you're gonna see the difference between these two okay and if you click sample find samples you get more information um, about union all so technically what this does is it combines data from multiple sources and uh, um, first we're gonna have data from one of the databases and uh, this database here is office supplies so if you take a look we do have uh, one table which is customers and if I right click and select top 10 we'll see uh, we do have customers here there are 11 of them okay so this is going to be one of the sources and you're going to combine data from a uh, different source which is going to be a csv file or a text file so let me find where that is and i'll open up to show you guys i already found the file so this is the file the file name is customers.txt so this is a flat file and it does have about one two three four five names i'm just going to go ahead and close it so we'll be combining a flat file and as well as um, um, relation database uh, this information is coming from a table named customers and we'll be using union all to combine the results let's go back to our environment so within data flow uh, first I need uh, all the B source so I'm gonna go to other sources and I'll put all the B here and I'll give this information about, I'll just rename this to get customers. Okay, big red X mean, it means uh, connection manager is not configured yet, has been configured yet. So I'll go ahead and create a new connection manager. I'll go to new. I'll specify my, I think I do have one, which is office supplies. If you don't know how to do this, again, please watch my previous videos. I'll click OK. And then the table I'm pulling information from is customers table. So I can change this to uh, SQL command. I can write a query to choose just um, customer name. Okay, you can write a query, but my assumption is uh, we don't have uh, access to the source data, so we're gonna bring everything from that table. And under columns, I'll go ahead and choose the columns I'm interested in. Uh, the column I'm interested in is customer names, and the output is customer name. You can change this output to whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave as it is. I click OK, and now. Uh, I have already configured 
my connection manager and you can see it here so the second source it's a flat file so i go ahead and drag and drop again it has not been configured that's why you see a big red x and i will name this to something meaningful so i say maybe with customers and i'm gonna go ahead and double click to configure the flat file connection manager i'll go ahead and click new i'll give a name here as customers connection manager i'll browse where the file is and uh, i need to save again the file to this folder so the file is in this folder already i have saved it so i'll just select the file click open and i know column names in the first data row and then as you can see here columns are not defined for this connection manager everything else leave as is just go to columns and you'll see here the first name is column I means so the first row is a column name and then we do have names here i click ok and uh, if i preview my data i should be able to see this customer so i click ok and ok so these two have been configured the next thing i need is to bring my component which is union all okay so drag and drop here and i'll go ahead and connect both of my data source okay so they're both connected for the training purposes i'm not gonna go ahead and uh, insert the records to the destination which is database but you may need to create a table here um, 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 to your data wells or to your destination um, to insert the records or maybe in a file a flat file uh, what i'm gonna do here i'll go ahead and add the library column i'll go ahead and connect this and then i'll go ahead and configure the data for here i'll just uh, enable data viewer so that we can preview our data okay so i do have a um, data viewer here and uh, all i need now is to really execute my query and as you can see again we do have about 11 and we do have about five customer names so we're expecting to see 16 here and you can take a screenshot here to confirm the same file it has been inserted or you can write down the names so that we can confirm that um, our union all is doing uh, what it's supposed to do i'll close this file I'll go ahead and execute my package. So I just right click and I'll say execute package. So as you can see here, uh, we do have just name from the fair, uh, 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 customers table. And um, you can take a look here closely that we do have 11 rows and we do have five rows and the output is just 11 rows and if you take a look these are coming from our customer table right you can take a look here real quick so there is an issue with the flat file and uh, uh, what I need to do is to troubleshoot and uh, see what's going on so i'm just going gonna go ahead and stop my debugging mode here 
and then I'll go inside union all so I just go ahead and double click on it or you can right click and click edit and as you can see here we do have output which is customer name right but our input one uh, we bring customer name and input two it chose to ignore we chose to ignore all we need is to change this to you name and I think it didn't do this automatically because the names are different but now I said uh, union all input one union all input two not ignore so I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK and let's see if that has fixed the issue so go ahead and uh, right click and run execute by the way this is equivalent to SQL uh, union operator okay so if you don't know about what SQL union operator is please watch my other videos and I can include the link um, of the video on on this video so now if you take a look we do have 16 records and here we do have also 16 records so our package has been successful I'll just go ahead and execute it and uh, as you can see it's all green so uh, I'll stop here for now and um, in this video I'll show you guys how to use union all and that's all you need so um, in my next video I'll talk about merge and um, what's the difference between these two okay um, the biggest difference here is merge accept only uh, what you said only sorted input and we're gonna see how we're gonna sort that and the other difference is union all um, it accepts more than you two uh, inputs merge you can ma not merge more than two inputs that's the the difference that's the major difference between these two union all accepts as many as inputs you want so it's more than two where merge accepts only two inputs okay and uh, uh, I'll show you what the input is but uh, it's a data source and the other difference is uh, merge doesn't have uh, uh, but we're gonna get to that uh, when you go to merge but uh, again uh, merge also accept only I'm gonna pause this video only sorted records and I can see here you can see combines from multiple sorted data flows into one sorted data flow but uh, I don't want to speak too much I don't want to prolong this video so I'll stop here meet me on my next video where I'll talk about merge into details thank you very much talk to you guys soon peace